Hey everyone, this is Michelle Alexandria with a quick video. This is the Sony Bravia 9 85 inch TV and it sucks. It is going back for, and it's going back because of uh, a couple of a couple of issues, a couple of major issues. For starters, motion on this TV is absolutely wretched. It it is. I, I, I tried watching several things. And the motion on this TV is just unacceptably bad, and I can't seem to fix it. And it's even on when I watch things like Dateline. And sometimes when I'm watching something as simple as this clip, um, it's not showing the motion now simply because, you know, I'm filming it. But the motion is awful. But the other reason why this TV is so bad is one stupid decision Sony made. If you, I'm going to go to settings. And keep in mind, this is an LCD TV, and the, the biggest draw, selling point of this TV is, oh, it's super bright. It's the brightest TV ever, and the TV can get up to uh, 4,000 nits. I'm telling you, that's a lie. Um, but uh, Sony limits the brightness on this TV. So here I am. I'm in cinema, I'm in cinema mode. So you, so you can see I'm in cinema mode. I changed some settings around. I don't even know what the default settings are. But the number one reason why this TV sucks, I'm sitting here binging today, and I'm binge watching today, and the TV keeps dimming and going bright, and then dimming and then going bright again. And it's giving me, it's, it, it's giving me a freaking headache, a literal headache, because it keeps dimming way down and then going way up. And I'm trying to figure out why, because I have all the power save features turned off. It's the first thing I do is turn off all the power save features and the the, the checking your room lighting and adjusting uh, your room lighting. But Sony, the, the mother efforts, what they did with this TV breaks it. They actually, so most TVs have this thing called peak luminance, a peak luminance setting, where you can actually change it based on where you can uh, basically, I, I like to call it a brightness booster feature. So, you know, I, cinema mode like this is, is fine. It's perfectly fine. I'm fine with it. But if you want to use the peak luminance feature, it forces you to use a uh, local dimming. And, it, and, it, and the local dimming is based on your room lighting, factors like your room lighting, and the black levels within the picture. So basically that's what's causing the picture to auto automatically dim. So so I could be watching something and five minutes later it goes dim. And that's why people don't like OLEDs because of that. On my OLEDs, I've never really noticed it. It never bothered me. But on this TV, I'm trying to watch stuff and it keeps going it keeps going dark on me and then it brightens up and it goes dark then it brightens up and that's becoming really frustrating to me so so like here you, you so here i don't i don't want to go out of this mode but you see the picture is fine if if it's off but if you turn on local dimming then you can see how it starts to get really nice how it gets nice and punchy but then you have peak luminance so now the peak luminance setting is working and then you turn it to medium, you can turn it to low, you can turn it to off. Um, but the problem is when you turn on pink lo peak luminance, then the auto local dimming kicks in. So now it's going to, the auto local dimming is going to kick in based on whatever your room's lighting conditions are or whatever, whatever al algorithm is using. But like I said, I was watching a couple of, trying to watch a couple of sea uh, dramas or whatever it is I watch, and it just kept going dark. It kept going dark, like every three or four minutes, and it would look completely washed out and awful and terrible. And then, you know, a couple of minutes later, it would go super bright again. And then a few minutes later, it would go, I had to turn it off. I had to stop watching because it was so annoying. And then certain things, like I said, the motion is horrible. So a couple of things I was watching, I had to just stop watching. Even Dateline, I was watching Dateline. You know, Dateline, the show that's known for all this fancy camera movement. Yeah, you, I couldn't even watch that. So I was just getting really, really, really frustrated really quickly. And another thing, all the, all the calibrated modes, uh, 
Sony markets for this TV, like the Netflix, Netflix calibrated mode, the Amazon calibrated mode, the Sony pictures calibrated mode, the IMAX calibrated mode, they're all hideous. They're so dark and washed out and dim and you can't see, a, you, you can't make out a damn thing. And you know, the professional mode that everyone touts has been the best in the business. Like Sony's professional mode, all you need to do is buy a Sony picture and put it in professional mode and it becomes great, the best TV in the world. Well, I'm gonna show you what default professional mode looks like. And you can't, and I don't think you can really tell you can't tell on this stupid iPhone because the iPhone automatically brighten, automatically brightens everything in auto mode. But here, maybe you can see a little bit of the difference in in loss of brightness. But I can show you because look at this: the default setting for brightness is four. That's your default setting for brightness um, in professional mode is four, and you're like. Who in their right mind would want to watch a TV uh, set the four? Now, now, granted, you can obviously like increase the size, and then it becomes okay. Now the picture looks nice, but still, I don't know. This TV is five thousand. I I don't like mentioning the price because it makes it seem like I'm cheap, and I am. I I like to be reasonable with my money, but. But yeah, the TV is five, five grand, and I don't think it's worth five grand for just for the motion issues and the fact that you can't even use the peak luminance feature at all on this TV. And I use the peak luminance feature on all my TVs. I like using this fe the peak luminance feature. And the fact that I can't just kind of drives me nuts. It, it's really like driving me, it's driving me mental. I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to watch stuff today and just the constant dimming. And and it wouldn't even have been so bad if it just dimmed and that was it. But it was it would dim and then it would go back up and then it would dim again. And I'm just kind of like, I can't. So, yeah, this TV is going back on Tuesday. I don't even think I'm doing it. I'm going to do any kind of impressions video of it or anything. Because why bother just to have people go, why bother? Um... I'm not trying to be a professional reviewer. I'm just looking for a TV. Um, and this year's TVs have all sucked. So I guess I'm just going to stick with my S90C. Assuming Best Buy will even move it back into my um, living room because they've been kind of assholey lately. Um, but it's not my fault these effing TVs have major flaws and are outrageously overpriced for what they're delivering. That's not my fault. So anyway, and Best Buy is charging... Total tech number is $260 to deliver this shit anyway. So at that point, shut up and do your job. I don't want to hear you whining because I'm paying I'm paying good money for good service. And Best Buy is not really giving that anymore. But, you know, just like everything else in, in life these days. But anyway, I'm just really frustrated. So talk to you guys later. Bye.